For some people, it is a hard no, or maybe it's a soft no, that you will not have sex at your parents' house, period. Doesn't matter how old you are, doesn't matter if you're married or not, it, you feel like it would be disrespectful to have sex under the roof where your parents are currently living. Well, that I think there's two different things here. There are definitely people who have no qualms having sex in their parents' house, but do if the parents are there at the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if the parents are out of the house, then that's fine. Um, I mean, I had no problems doing it at my friend Carrie's house. <laughs> <laughs> so in this case, the email on Friday said that, look, the window of opportunity for them to try to make themselves baby, which they're trying to do, was going to be this past weekend. And they were going to be at his parents' house. And he's like, no, no, no. That's the dilemma. So they have been married for about a year. And for the last couple of months, they have been trying to have a baby. And she is a teacher and the school year is about to start back up. So before it does, they are going to visit his parents over the weekend. And she was saying that she'll be ovulating during that time. And she's starting to be obsessed with the process. So she feels like, I don't want to be patient. We need to get it in every time we can take advantage of every opportunity. And so she doesn't want to let this opportunity pass. But the husband feels like he doesn't want to know that his child was conceived under the roof of his parents and feels like maybe they. They should just sit this weekend out, and she doesn't feel like it's that big of a deal, so they were trying to figure out what they should do. Every cycle counts. Yeah, we talked about this on Friday, too. Like, it's the least romantic thing. Like, when she calls you up and is like, better get ready. Better get ready. (laughs) Two o'clock. We got business to take care of. It's not like, hey, I love you. It's, hey, we're on the clock. The eggs are primed for fertilization. (laughs) And he was like, nah, man, it's my parents' house. I just don't feel comfortable. I don't even know if I could perform. So did she talk him into it or not this weekend? All right. The email update. Hey, Tommy, thanks for reaching out. I do have a non-update update. I hope that's okay. Bert was slightly off with the timing. Mission, make a baby at my in-laws is still in progress. We arrived on Sunday and we'll be here for a week. According to my ovulation calendar, I will be in prime baby making mode tonight, Monday, and tomorrow night. I tried convincing my husband one last time before we flew out, but he is still adamant about not doing it at his parents' house. I loved your all's idea about involving my mother-in-law. Because <laughs> my idea was like, well, if mother-in-law really wants a grandbaby, yeah. then just go, hey, can you take off for a half an hour or an hour and let me get, you know, I got to get busy. And mm-hmm. you said you actually had no issue with asking your mom to bounce and like, and she would be 100% down. No issues at all. I would completely ask my mom. And when we talked about it and um, she heard it, yeah. she was like, Oh, I loved it. I was with Kristen. I I set the candles up. I get the music right. Whatever it takes. She wants a grandbaby. Yes, sir. All right. So uh, she goes on to say she, her mother-in-law and her had a few moments alone on the patio. She goes, I told her what was going on and that her son wasn't on board with trying for a baby in his childhood home. (laughs) Both our families are already well aware we are in the process of trying. She's so ready to be a grandma (laughs) that I knew she'd be on my side to make this happen. My husband and his dad are going to check out an antique car today. While they are gone, my mother-in-law, my mother-in-law and I are going to book a suite at a nearby hotel. Okay. All right. That way my husband has no excuses in all caps. <laughs> Uh, future grandma is so excited she's even footing the bill. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to pack us an overnight bag and sneak it into their car. After we go out to dinner tonight, his parents will drop us off at the hotel instead of going back to the house. He's still going to be embarrassed by this. If he's been this, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's going right. gonna to go through with it, but he's still going to be embarrassed about it. He won't know anything is up until we pull up to the hotel. I feel like this is a foolproof <laughs> plan. Wish us luck in more ways than one. Okay, okay, so this will be a good update right here. Yeah, I think that once he realizes that his mom's in on it, initially he's going to be sheepish about it. But dude's got work to do. Yeah, All right. I Every, mean. How do you think he got here? I don't know what he's embarrassed about. <laughs> <laughs> they understand. <laughs> I just think that there are some that I don't want my parents to know about this. This is completely compartmentalized. I definitely don't want my mom assisting in any of this. Yeah, there, there are those people that like, no, my parents have never had sex and they have no idea right. that mm-hmm. I have sex. I arrive via stork and my child <laughs> will arrive via stork and that's how it's going to roll. I, I hope everything goes well for her. I just hope he doesn't feel taken advantage of. 
by his mom and his wife. I just think he'll be put mm. off for a minute and then, you know, he'll she has do. ways to persuade him. He'll buck up. He will yes. buck up. <laughs> he will. can't finish. <laughs> The Burt Show. Like what you just watched? You can get more of The Burt Show on your favorite podcast platform. Wherever you listen to your podcast, you can find us. I don't know what any of these buttons do, by the way.